But isn't it beautiful? Yeah, yeah. What is it? It's a trifle. It's got all of these layers. First, there's a layer of lady fingers, then a layer of jam, then custard, which I made from scratch. <laughs> <laughs> then raspberries, more lady fingers, then beef sautéed with peas and onions. <laughs> Bananas, and then I just put some whipped cream on top. <laughs> Honey, I'm home. Hi, I'm Sangeeta, and welcome to my channel. Friends, the reunion was premiered on 27th of May, and I knew that I had to do something related to this iconic show to show my love. Friends, Thanksgiving trifle is possibly the most awe-inspiring holiday food in television history. So let's go make a tasty version of Rachel's dessert that looks like it contains beef but tastes amazing. First, let's get all of the elements ready. I have over here some unroasted hazelnuts. Let's drop in 20 of those into a baking tin. Roast this at 170 degrees Celsius for 7 minutes. There we go, these are roasted. Time to turn these into a fake piece. Transfer the hazelnuts into a box that has a lid. Let's put in a drop of green food color into it and shake it well. You can use peanut if you wish to or even use green colored skittles. You can also use kiwi instead. That's done, now let's keep that aside. Now for the fake beef layer. I'm using Oreos to achieve that layer. You can also use grated coconut meat mixed with Nutella, but I'm not a fan of coconut. So I'll be sticking with my Oreos. Use a knife to pierce the packet. This helps to get the air out of the packet. Now take a rolling pin and whack it. We are trying to achieve a coarse texture. I have used about 24 Oreos in total. This is what your crumbs should look like. Continue releasing your stress with the rest. Next element is the jam. I'm using strawberry jam over here. You can use mixed fruit jam or just puree some raspberries or strawberries too. I'll be using 3 tablespoons of it. You can see how lumpy the jam is. We will be heating this up in the microwave for about 30 seconds to loosen it up. See how the consistency has changed? It's pourable now. Now let's chop up some strawberries. I do not like raspberries so I'll be swapping those for some fresh strawberries. You're going to have to cut them up in half. Before we head to the next step, look how gorgeous these two strawberries are. Textbook perfect. The right size, shape and color. Okay, now let's get back to the next step. Drop in some coffee powder into a bowl. This step is optional but I have decided to dip the lady fingers in coffee decoction. You don't have to but if you do, then make sure to use only about a teaspoon of coffee powder and half a cup of water. I'll be making extra here. So that's 3 teaspoons for me and a whole lot of water. Again, you do not need so much. Before dipping our lady fingers, let me just show you what I've done. I've chopped them up a little and have saved the tips or the ends for another layer. Choose a bowl of your liking and place the ladyfinger upright after dipping them in coffee decoction. Just about last week I was telling a friend of mine 
that when I hit 30, I will be celebrating my birthday with a theme. No prize for guessing, it's obviously going to be friends theme. So while shooting this trifle, all I had in mind was, oh god, I can't wait to make this next year again. So I'm hoping the situation gets better and I do get to celebrate the next year with my loved ones. Also, if you're new to this channel, hi and welcome. So happy to have you here. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Also, you can find me on my Instagram page at HoneyAmHome. I'll have the handle written down in the description box. Now let's pour in the jam carefully. Let the jam slide through the sides of the lady finger. Next layer is going to be custard. You can make this from scratch. I'll have the recipe linked above here. You can follow the steps to make one from scratch or if you don't feel like taking the trouble to make it from scratch, you could use custard powder and make a quick one. Or if that is too much of a work, you could always buy it. Now let's place the strawberry, lay it down flat. Now layer it up with the small bits of ladyfinger. You can fill it up inside with the ladyfingers too, but I have decided to only place it on the rim. Now drop in those crushed Oreos and make a layer. Let's drop in our fake piece now. The color looks much lighter, but somehow it looks dark due to the poor lighting. Let's place those peas where the people can see them. Let's pour in another layer of custard. Now let's chop up some bananas and place a layer of it on top of the custard. Make sure to refrigerate this for at least 2 hours before serving. It will help the trifle to set a little and not be a puddle when served. I did not have the time to chill this so mine was a beautiful runny mess. But I had this the next day and it scooped so well. Now let's add some whipping cream to finish it off. In a few seconds, you will witness my lame attempt at fixing the fallen whipping cream as well as laughing at the empty can of whipped cream. Then another lame attempt at imitating Joey. Don't tell me I didn't warn you. I like it. What's not to like? Custard? Good. Jam? Good. Meat? Good. Mm. This actually tastes really, really good, so do give it a try. Until next time.